The M badge, where did it all begin? For BMW enthusiasts, everyone knows the M badge and even non-enthusiasts will know the M2 to the M3. Cars that were built for driving enthusiasts and with a little bit of a higher price tag, some amazing cars. Well, I say some, not all of them. Wow. The BMW M1 is an excellent car and it was the first M road car to be on the road for BMW, which really kicked things off. I'll talk about the Pro Car and the M1 in this video, similar to how I did with my Lancia Icons and the history of this car. This car isn't actually the original M car, it was the 3 litre CSL which was the original M car which really started kicking off the brand, but the M1 was the first car to be badged with the M BMW logo and brand that we know today from its original manufacturing. So the BMW M1 is an original mid-engine sports car produced by the German automotive manufacturer from 1978 to 1981. In the late 70s, the Italian automobile manufacturer Lamborghini entered into an agreement with BMW to build a production racing car in a sufficient quantity for homologations, e.g. racing. But these conflicts arose at the time and prompted BMW to produce their own car and of course this resulted in this very special, very rare, hard to find and supposedly half a million pound car these days, the M1. It is the first BMW automobile that has been mass produced and second since it's the i8 plug in hybrid sports car which was then mass produced even more. It's quite similar to the i8 in many ways and of course then came the M1 Pro car. As for production for the M1, it was manufactured by the Italian firm which was located in Medina, Resina, which was the firm. The chassis was completed by another man Modernese, Marchesi, and the body of the car was completely Italian designed. So essentially it sounds like the car was pretty much Italian, and you can kind of tell in its the styling. The these were partly delivered to then German specialist manufacturers, where assembly took place by hand. The hand-built M88-1 engines were supplied by BMW from Munich to be installed in the cars. They completed the cars and were shipped to BMW Motorsport in Munich for final inspection on delivery. And, as mentioned, there were only 453 production cars ever built for the BMW, making it one of BMW's rarest models ever. Maybe second or third on the list. Out of these 453 cars that were produced, 399 were road-going cars, which meant 53 were made for motorsport. After really successful production of the M1, the car then became various successes in motorsports. And this included the Sports Car International, which placed number 10 on the list of sports cars at the 1970s. In 1979, the BMW M1 and the division decided to make an M1 Pro car, which is where this car was born. It is a series that was created to aid BMW in building enough cars to enter the Group 4 classification in the World Championships. It became known as a pro car for the championship and served as one of the most su supportive series for Formula 1 and included Formula 1 drivers in identical cars. The series ran for about two years with Nicky Lauda winning 1979 season and Nelson Piquet in the 1980 season. After BMW met the standards for Group 4, the pro cars were used in various teams or in the world championships as well as other national series. The M1 pro car was campaigned to be at the 24-hour Le Mans for about six years and it was very competitive, given that it had a 3.5 litre engine producing around 300 horsepower and was both the racing. The car was classified as a Group B car for Le Mans purposes and was also a Group B for GT class road cars and was also eclipsed by the Group C prototypes at the time. The M1 Pro car was also then converted into a rally car by BMW France at the time, who in 1982 took it for the season and campaigned for the 1983 season, as well as before the car was entered solely by the Motul privateer racing team for 1984. The 1984 season proved to be most successful for the M1 as it was driven by Bernard Bagoon, who won back-to-back -back races in the rallies that he took part in. This even claimed more podiums four months later at Rally de Abantes. The car was not campaigned after this and unfortunately it's where it started to end its motorsport career. So the BMW M1, a car that has a lot of heritage and history, it started the M brand effectively and we are thankful for all the cars that it's produced. A homage was paid in 2008 to the M1 and was a concept to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the M1. The car nowadays is worth anywhere up to about half a million pounds and there's been never any mention of being a recreation for the modern world other than the concepts that have come before it. But the i8 is as close as we've got in today's world. Hope you've enjoyed this Cars with Ben video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like car content.